everyone, thank you for tuning in to A Graders, here's what to expect. Today we have with us an experienced English curriculum writer, Miss Sharon, who will share with us what a secondary one student will be learning for English in September. So Sharon, what are they learning this month? Okay, so today I would like to introduce the third section of paper 2, which is the non-narrative comprehension. In May, we actually talk about uh, section A, which is the visual text comprehension, where questions are asked based on a visual, uh, based on a picture. In July, we discuss section B, the narrative comprehension, where questions are asked based on the narrative text. So, as its name suggests, uh, non-narrative comprehension section C means that the text is one that is factual in nature, discussing real-world issues. Alright, can you elaborate more about that? Mm. Okay, so in text 3, the comprehension questions tend to focus on extracting relevant information. So often, uh, students will have to identify the relevant information and express it in their own words. The focus for text 3 questions uh, may not be specifically on language use, but it is still important for students to read closely. While contextual clues may point students in the right direction, uh, their ability to accurately identify relevant information depends on their appreciation of the uh, nuances in the language. So an example of uh, a non-narrative comprehension question would be something like refer to paragraph uh, 1, explain in your own words how teenagers nowadays make use of technology. Or another question would be something like how do you know that the author is afraid? For the non-narrative uh, text, the summary component is actually based on uh, this particular text and it tests students' ability to identify relevant information and express them in continuous writing in relation to the focus uh, of the summary question. Okay, do you have any examples to show us? Okay, so at A Grader, we believe in uh, teaching techniques to handle the question types. So to do that effectively, we work with short excerpts from different passages, repeating the practice of answering a question, a particular question type, and learning how to analyze non-narrative text using different contents. So you'll see uh, here, this is an example of an excerpt from the question, and the question types will be, uh, the questions that will be asked will be something like this. Identify evidence which shows why Mindy thinks the above is true. So you have a statement made by Mindy, a statement made by her friend, and then uh, a question will be asked to uh, get you to identify the event evidence uh, from the passage so that students, uh, so to support uh, what students think is uh, makes the statement a true statement. So that would be an example of a non-narrative text question. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Thank you. To watch more of such videos and information to help your child improve and learn ahead of others in school, visit our website www.agrader.sg, click on this button, fill in your email address and receive all these useful videos straight in your inbox for free. As well as the latest in promotions so that you don't lose out on great deals with A Grader Learning Center.